curating black. I mean, this is an idea that, that as I said, isn't just you know, the, the job of a curator in a museum, but it actually kind of goes back to our galleries, to our homes, you know, how, we, how we use our filters to think about a particular you know, kind of body or collection of work. Pamela, I'm looking at you because I'm wondering what it's like to walk into Pamela Joyner's home and to see what you have curated on your walls. Well, first of all, we talk to our paintings. We do. <laughs> the core of our collection really is sort of mid-20th century. And we have Jack Whitten and Sam Gilliam and Mel Edwards and Al Loving. And we say, hi, Jack, you know, when we walk into <laughs> our house. And so it's, it's, it's personal in that way. And But we see um, not only sort of the history of those people when they had no one but each other to dialogue with. There were, I mean, at that point in time, there were no Jack Shamans when these great artists were making their early careers. And so they formed these bonds, personally, that they have to this day. We see that dialogue and we hang them in dialogue. And then you take an artist like a Jack Witten, who has said in my home to a large group of people, without Norman Lewis, he would not have had a career. And so. You know, Thelma and, and Franklin both have highlighted this strand of intergenerationality that naturally flows through this practice of collecting or curating art uh, made by artists of the African diaspora. Similarly, uh, Mark Bradford would say he has looked to Jack Whitten as someone who has helped him frame his thinking uh, because Jack is a great maker of paintings as opposed to being a painter of paintings. And of course, Mark is one of the greatest uh, makers of paintings. And so when I buy a painting and hang it on the wall, I hear all of those stories. And for me, that harkens directly back to the very first conversations I had more than 20 years ago with Richard Mayhew, who told me all of these stories about his peers and his predecessors. So I hear that and I see that every day in life and in my home. Thank you.